can make all the throws. He can make all the throws. He's athletic enough to, you know, extend plays. I mean, you don't really know where he's going to throw. I mean, he's just, he's a playmaker, you know, so he can do it. He can do it all. He can make all the throws, so. Can you use that week six game to maybe scout him or figure him out a little bit, or is it totally different? No, nah, it's different. I mean, we we'll, we got the whole season to scout him, you know. So, you know, I can't really like live in the past, go back to that game, you know. Maybe some things that hurt us, but I mean, he's played a whole season, so we we've, we've all seen it. Travis Kelsey, what kind of problems does he pose in tight end? Uh, he's good. He's athletic, man. He's good catch radius, big, you know, good quickness, savvy. You know, it's hard to tackle. He's he's a really good player. In terms of taking weapons away, Bill always likes to take their number one weapon away. So if that's Tyree Kill, um, will you be on Kelsey or how? What do you in terms of? Because they have a lot of weapons. You got Chris Conley as well. I mean, that's just a big secret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking at an offense like KC that runs these sort of college style concepts, like an, like an air raid, uses sort of those uh, concepts. What chances are there at the defense to stop that? Um. Just doing your job, man. Really, it comes it comes down to it, being focused and just doing what you're supposed to do. You know, playing good team defense is what's what's going to help us. You know, no individual, you know, playmakers out there. Just you know, everyone just doing our job. Patrick, one of the things you've excelled at in your career is covering the tight end. When you see a guy like Kelsey, who might have had the best numbers of a tight end this year, does that sort of get you excited, juiced up a little more? Given the uh, yeah, I mean, whenever you on, I mean, you go against a team that has a lot of playmakers. I mean, it's. I mean, it's going to be some competition. It makes it more fun. It makes it more intense. So, you know, they have a lot, of, a lot of playmakers out there on their team. You know, the pretty much their whole offense. You know, so, I mean, it's definitely going to be fun. You know, they're a good team. We're a good team. So, we're just going to battle it out. Does it give you any more confidence? I know it was week six or whatever it was in October, but you did beat these guys. So, as good as everyone's talking about, they are. Does it make you realize what, that we can beat these guys? If we I mean, that was week, that was week six or whatever, week, week six. I mean, that was a long time ago. You know, we, we can't really worry about that. You know, they're a better team and they're on the roll. And, you know, it's the two best teams in the AFC. So we can't really worry about what well, we beat you guys last, you know, so we're, we're going to win. You know, though we have that mentality, we'll get, we'll get kicked off, you know, kicked off, kick our ass pretty much. So okay. go ahead, go ahead. Just taking our account with, with kind of takeaways. I mean, sometimes the team has poor ball security, but a lot of times from your end, I mean, we've seen, you know, Jason with a kind of a strip, uh, strip fumble, and um, Stephon had this nice interception a couple weeks ago, I think. Yeah. What about your ability to maybe make plays and be able to? Yeah, I mean, the more plays we make, the closer we are to winning the game. So turnovers, I mean, we all know that's a, it's a huge, makes a huge impact in the game. So, you know, if we can get our turnovers and limit our, and limit our turnovers on offense, then, you know, that's that's putting us in the right direction. But we still have to play good, you know, 60 minutes because they're going to play 60 minutes. What's your mentality in terms of going into a hostile environment like Arrowhead Stadium and knowing that this is the biggest game in their franchise history and they're going to have that? Opportunity? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be loud, man. Their fans, their stadium, it's, it's a great atmosphere. You know, so we know that going into it, but, you know, it really means nothing. You know, we're going out there to win a game, you know, and they're, and they're trying to win also. So, like I said, it's going to be a battle. I mean, home home or away, it doesn't matter. It's just it's the winner go home, you know, so we're going we're gonna to show up to play. Can I talk about the opportunity that's in front of you guys? You've been here before. you got a lot of guys in that locker room that have, but what does it mean to you to have this opportunity again? Uh, it's big. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of players throughout the years that have never even got to this game. You know, so it's definitely a blessing. We work hard, you know, and, we, you know, they deserve to be here and we deserve to be here. So it all comes down to execution and, you know, playing some ball. Can you talk about the job Brian Flores has done, what he's meant to you? Yeah, I mean, he's, obviously he's done a great job. We're in, we're in the big game, you know, and you know he's definitely a good coach, man, and, and he likes to mix things up, so keeps it keeps guys off balance. Pat, defense never wants to give up the big play. I'm just curious with this offense on the other side, is it almost more paramount to highlight that just because of how quick they can score? Yeah, I mean, just gotta take it play by play, man. You know, and limit limit their big plays and. You know, try to contain them. They're going to make their plays. I mean, they're they're great players. Also, you know, they get paid too. They're you know they're all, all pros. So, just take it play by play. Good play, bad play. Move on and just see what it looks like. You know, after sixty minutes. Speaking uh, of big plays, I mean, Tyree kills one of those guys. Can you speak about him just a little bit? What you remember from week six? What you've seen throughout the season? Um, he's fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys all see it. We see that we see the same things. We're just you know. 
he's a good, he's explosive. He's an elite player, you know, so got to try to contain him a little bit and, you know, see what we can do. Can you think of anyone faster than him? Nope. We got a couple guys on our team that's fast now, but I'm maybe I'll check out check him out in the race or something. Why had this team been so successful against rookie quarterbacks? Um, I mean, we don't really care if it's rookie or you know, or if it doesn't really matter. You know, it doesn't matter. It's all about you know what we do. You know, rookie quarterbacks can come in here, or can come in here, or we can go out there and get whooped if we don't do what we're supposed to do and execute what we've been executing on the practice field. And so, it really doesn't matter. It just comes down to know what, what we have to do. Uh, just been preparing the same way we've been preparing. I mean, this is, yeah, it's a way game, but I mean, it's, there's only one more left, you know, so we're not really treating it like an away game. We're treating it like, you know, we have to go out here and play, you know, because like I said, you lose it, then we're out, you know, so um, just you know, playing our ball. We've just been been doing our, what we've been doing the last twenty something weeks. Let's go from there. Pat, you played a lot of big games. How often does a, a good week of practice and preparation correlate to a good play on Sunday? Or are there times where that's not necessarily the case? And how has this week been so far? Um, it's, um, good. I mean, we still have we still have a couple more ga- ga- days to go, but you know, practice execution becomes game reality. We all know that. You know, make it hard in practice so it's easy in the game. You know, so that's what we always do. That's what we've always done since I've been here. So I mean, that's what we've been doing. Yeah, Pat, I've been asked a lot about week six. J.C. Jackson wasn't active for that game, but now he's starting and playing on virtually every snap in the second. And what's impressed you most about his play? Um, he's learning. I mean, he's a young dude, and he's he's learning. He got a lot he put a lot on his plate, and he's he's handling it. He's handling like a professional for a young guy. You know, so I mean, just hopefully he can continue to do that. You know, throughout the years, especially for this game and. And hopefully he can grow and be a great player. Just one, really. <laughs> yeah, make it a good one. Uh, I guess it's only fitting with the Rob here, but how much does uh, it help you when you go up against a tight end like Travis when you practice against Rob? Definitely helps. I mean, it's two of the best. You know, I mean, two do- totally different, but two of the best. You know, me and Gronk go at it a lot. You know, and so he's definitely helped me. You know, my eight years with him, you know, eight, nine years with him. So he's maybe a better player, so it's de- it definitely helps. Bring your A game, you know, watching you at the podium. Like a game. A press conference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's my man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>